five Scotch Sherry Bomb whiskeys you need for 2021. So whiskey tubers are all coming up with a top five for 2021 list. Well then, how can I not come up with a list of Sherry Bombs? Of course, it's harder than it sounds if you're a Sherry Bomber like myself, but nevertheless, we drop these five bombs on you. Hey Scotch lovers, welcome to Scotch for Dummies, four guys on a Scotch journey to help you with your next purchase. I'm Mark, and if you're new here, welcome to the channel where we have weekly live shows every Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern and review Scotch whiskey and other whiskeys weekly. Please do us a favor and hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and click the notification bell to be notified when we put out new content. Quick shout out to Whiskey Central for the nomination. If you want to know more about that, click here. All right, let's get into dropping some sherry bombs. Five Scotch sherry bomb whiskeys you need for 2021. My first category is the budget bomb. Any budget-minded Scotch drinker that's looking for a sherry matured beauty need look no further than the Naked Grouse. For 30 bucks, I just can't find a better payload. Sure, it's a blend, but a blended malt, no grain whiskey, and it's based on malt whiskey from the likes of McKellen, Highland Park, Glenrothes, and Glen Turret. No age statement, you say? Who cares for 30 bucks? I say bombs away, make mine a double. The next category, the Daily Bomber. Now, of course, the budget bomb could easily be a daily drinker, but for this daily pick, I wanted to up the payload to an age-stated scotch, and I say the buck stops with Tamdu. First thing to know is Tamdu matures its whiskey exclusively in Oloroso sherry casks, so you know it's going to have some bang. The 12-year-old is between 15 and 60 bucks, so it's not too over the top for a daily dram, and comes in at a nice 43% ABV. Of course, if you can afford a bit more complex bomb on the daily, then just drop the 15-year-old and destroy your target. Three more years in those wonderful sherry casks and bottled at 46% is freaking lovely. But that payload comes at a cost of about 90 bucks. No arsenal can be complete without a treat yourself ordinance. Every now and again, you just want to step it up and pour something that's gonna be a, an experience, a longer dram that probably costs too much to drink all the time, but you can swing it on a special occasion or just when you need to pat yourself on the back. And Glendronic drops the bomb on me every time. Glendronic is known worldwide for producing unique, richly sherried style scotch. And it's really a toss up for me, but I'm gonna cheat a bit here and give a twofer. Both the 18 year old Allardyce and the 21 year old Parliament are 100% treat yourself worthy. The 18 is a 46% ABV whiskey matured exclusively in Spanish Oloroso sherry cask and is so rich with a hint of allspice that just destroys the coordinates. It's around 190 bucks, but that's why it's safe for those special treats. Now, if you wanna ensure there are no survivors when you say bombs away in this category, you can up the explosion factor with the 21, which is a combination of Oloroso and PX Sherry casks, and comes in at 48% ABV. But there's a cost associated with it, and it comes in at around 250 bucks. Quick side note about these two bottles. If you shop around and are ready when you find the deal, you can get either of them for much cheaper. Just be sure to look online and don't be afraid to order from overseas, if they can ship to where you are. Next up, the Avon. For this category, I'm going with a super bold, punch you in the nose sherry bomb, Kill Karen 8. Last year's was absolutely phenomenal, and I was just blown away that they could follow it up with this year's flat out bomb. It's a 56.9% ABV blast that just blows up with a wee bit of water. I nabbed a bottle from overseas as soon as they hit the shelves, and I'm eagerly waiting for when they hit the states, where I'm going to be ready to clear a shelf. They listed for about 60 pounds overseas, but those prices skyrocketed quickly on the secondary market. If you like big, bold, sherry richness, then this is your atomic bomb. And I, for one, love me some Oloroso matured scotch. Finally, my bomb bottle. Now, I could list a bunch of bottles here. But I, I want to at least make this one one you might find, and that's because they put out a yearly release. Of course, they differ a wee bit from year to year, but rest assured, Glengoyne Teapot Dram is worth your effort to put in your arsenal. 
Last year's offering only produced 3,993 bottles. And to get one was a challenge as they are distillery offerings. Although they will be a few bottles that show up in Scottish online stores. But oh my, my oh my, 59.9% of Hello Lover. Such a sweetness married with a spice from cinnamon and clove. This thing sits you down and says, stay a while. Batch eight is still unannounced, but rest assured, you'll want to keep your eyes peeled. Batch seven, what I have here, retailed for under a hundred bucks, but the prices go up quickly on the secondary market. So if you have friends close to the distillery, just send the cash now and figure out how to get this explosive bottle home. So there it is, bombardiers. My five Sherry Scotch whiskeys you need to try for 2021. Most of them are readily available, and a few are soon to be available. Some are easy on the wallet, some you might have to save for, but trust me, all worth trying in 2021. Now it's time for me to nominate someone, and I'd like to nominate a good friend and badass whiskey tuber, Rob from Whiskey in the Six. As always, thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. Bombs away, my